friends welcome to the tawalali classes today we will discuss uh, wbc that is concluding part of wbc previously we have discussed uh, rbc and then wbc that is formation of rbc now the functionalities for the practical purposes now for the practical purposes we will divide wbc into two categories that is with granular cytoplasm these are known as granulocytes clear and those do, who do not have grains in their cytoplasm are called granulocytes So, granulocytes and agranulocytes. These are the two categories. Out of these granulocytes, we have come across eosinophil, basophil, neutrophil, and here monocytes and lymphocytes. These are the five categories we have learned. This is a cell, this is a cell, these all are cells. So, we call them not as cell, we call them form element. Now for the practical purposes we will think about it. Say, this cell, eosinophil, We will differentiate first, uh, taking into consideration the nucleus. In eosinophil, the nucleus is bilobed. It is bilobed nucleus. Like a spectacle for eosinophil. For basophil, the nucleus is S shaped or kidney shaped. So we will write kidney shaped. Kidney shaped nucleus. Then neutrophils. This nucleus multilobed. The lobe may be two to seven lobes based on their maturity. Maybe two lobes, three lobes, four lobes, or up to seven lobes. So we will differentiate. Based on the nucleus, that is bilobed, kidney shaped, and multilobed. These multilobes are neutrophil. Because of the multilobed, they are called polymorph. Why polymer? Poly means so many and morph means morphological structure. So their nucleus is polymorph, maybe two, three, four, five, six. So they are uh, called polymorph. And monocyte. The nucleus is on one side, there is an indentation and the in one side. All the nuclear stains blue. And 
and then we will come to lymphocytes. Lymphocytes, this is the cell and the nucleus occupies the entire cell, almost entire cell. Almost entire cell is there and it keeps the cytoplasm like a ring, a crescent shaped cytoplasm. So based on the nucleus, we can divide it and we can identify. But the problem is that here in eosin, they are granulocytes. They are granulocytes. This is not required. They are granulocytes and dense stains red. These are coarse grain. That is, grain are bigger inside. Grains are bigger in size. Okay, post granules. And here are little bit smaller in size. Little bit smaller in size. And sometimes the grains Overlap the nucleus. So basically, during test, you may come across there is less basophil. This is eosinophil, basophil, neutrophil, monocyte, lymphocyte. So sometimes it occupies the nucleus. So you cannot see right there. Then another is this neutrophil, eosinophil stains with eosin. Acidic dye. This stains with basic dye, Krishna. And this is methylene blue. So, this appears violet. So, I am writing V instead of, but here the granules are very minute, very minute. That is fine granules. I am writing V for our convenience. Yeah. And these are our granular. That is no granules, but still the cytoplasm is there. So I will write clear. So based on the nucleus, they are like this. Special thing. How we differentiate now? We will differentiate it this way. These are called polymorph. Here, the percentage of lymphocytes, WBC, actually WBC and RBC is RBC is to W B C if there is one W B C there is seven hundred RBC. So one is to seven hundred. Seven hundred is to one. 
So these are lesser in number, and RBCs are maximum in number because they are doing the maximum job, main job. So it has been prepared in that way that they are more they are doing the main functions, and based on their appear, I mean presence in a cubic millimeter. I have told you that. Put a slide. Blah will follow the slide, and there is a smear. You count it in one cubic millimeter. In this way, it is counted. So there, somebody is saying total TLC, total lymphocyte count. How does this? How many total lymphocytes are there? It is total lymphocyte count is something between. Four thousand to nine thousand total leukocytes. If it is less than four thousand, it is called leukopenia. If it is more than nine thousand, leukocytosis. As simple as that. That is TLC. Now, what is DLC differential? It comes in percentages. Differential leukocyte counts. It counts in percent. It shows in percent. Why? Because out of hundred, out of hundred, out of hundred WBC, how much is the percentage of this? This is that is into hundred. Out of hundred, this is the condition. So. We write in that way. Now we will see. EOC is EOC is one to four percent. Clear? Then basophil. Basophil is zero to one percent. Zero to one percent. Clear? Neutrophil is more. Neutrophil is more. Neutrophil is fifty to seventy percent. Fifty percent to seventy percent. Monocyte is double of this one. One is equal to two. Four is equal to eight. Two percent to eight percent. If this way, you will remember. To eight percent, and lymphocyte is twenty to twenty five percent. Twenty to twenty five percent. Why? Why? Because that depends on their nature of work. If there is one patient and one hundred doctors no need. So there should be hundred percent one doctor. In this way, as per their nature of work, they are present in this way. Nature of work is more for RBC, so RBC is more. Nature of work is more for this, it will be more. It will be more, and their nature of work is less. So they are available in lesser quantity in the blood, which can be ascertained. Now you see this. I have said basophil number one. You will write one lab. The cytoplasmic granules are so more that it sometimes overlaps the nucleus. So first is bilob, kidney cell, macular, polymorph, then monocyte, then lymphocyte, lymphocyte. There is a fusion of six cytoplasm, and it is known as eccentric. This is in one side, so it is called eccentric. E C E M T R C. 
eccentric nucleus. So why differentiate this? And this is 1 to 4 percent, 0 to 1 percent, this is this, this. These are the composition. Now, you see, out of these two, you write neutrophil and monocytes. I should say neutrophil and monocytes. You write here diapedesis. DIA dia P E D I S I S Dia Pedesis. What is diapedesis? Diapedesis in case of any infection or inflammation or any pathological condition, first these two, that is neutrophil and monocytes. They can borrow the wall of the arterial and venous capillaries. They can go out of these venous capillaries or arterial capillaries in the site of infection. They can go out of the channel, out of the vessels. This quality is called diapedesis. So they can borrow the wall of the arteries, arterioles and annuals and go to the site of infection. So these two have the qualities of diabetes. You should write in that way. So number one, number two. This is eccentric diabetes. Diabetes. One thing now, in case of neutrophil. Here, in the nucleus of neutrophil, in the multilob nucleus of neutrophil, a drumstick like body is visible or seen sometimes. This is known as bar body. B A double R B O D Y. This is available in 70% of female, this bar body. It is a sex chromatin. It is a sex chromatin, right here, sex chromatin. Sex chromatin. Right here, this is silver X, X chromatin. X chromatin body is found in the female neutrophil of the female uh, females, 17% of the females. This is body. This is the extra point you can add. This is known as body. Okay. Then, as for their car, one thing I have forgotten that is, I have not said about the thrombocytes. Here I will write thrombocytes here and I will discuss it later. Otherwise, we may forget. Na? Thrombocytes. In case of excess thrombocyte, thrombocytosis. In case of less thrombocytes, thrombocytopenia. Thrombocytosis, thrombocytopenia. How much they are present in the blood? 2,50,000 to 4,50,000. Underlined. So, they are in maximum number, thrombocytes. They take part for clotting of blood. If they are less, known as thrombocytosis, uh, thrombocytosis, thrombopenia. So, in case of uh, production, uh, less production, the blood goes out. In case of more production, they create thrombus, that is cardiac thrombosis and this cerebral thrombosis occurs. Okay, forget it. We will discuss with this first. Now, as for their function. Eosinophilia. 
is a disease. Sometimes we call eosinophilia. E O S I A N O P H I L I A. Sometimes in our blood, the eosinophil increases because there is some pathological conditions which the blood giving us indication that something happened within your body. So it may be infection in asthma. A S T H A M A asthma. Hay fever. Influenza. Or allergic reactions. Allergic reactions. Eosinophilia increases. That is, they are also lesser in number, but in case of anything, any pathological factor, they are giving a signal that is increases after four percent, four to five to six to seven percent. So, the as per the laboratory, laboratory says that it is more than four percent. So, eosinophilia doctor will decide what actually happened. Whether this is a case of this. Parasitic infection, some parasitic infection was it? T A R A para, S I T I C. Parasitic infection. What is parasitic infection? Those who are parasites. Who's a who are parasites? Parasites are one. Platy helminthes. P A L A T Y. Platy helminthes. Nematode helminthes. These are the Tail worm and round worm, Ascaris lumbricus. So, if there is parasites infection, that eosinophilia increases. Eosin increases. This increases. So, it is a case of eosinophilia allergic reaction. Although they are secreting some uh, sorts of uh, histamine also, but that is not. Um, uh, applicable to this, that is applicable to here in Besoki. Okay. Now I am erasing this one and to write here also. You pause and see what I have written again. This is kidney shepherd and Besoki secrets, which I told you in the first day of blood or uh, blood clotting. Basically, it secretes heparin. Heparin is an anticoagulant. Why our blood does not clot within the blood vessels? Because basophil has the capacity to secrete heparin. Heparin is anticoagulant. So, whenever there is the possibility of coagulation, they secrete one drop or two drop of heparin. So, this heparin. Keeps the blood in a liquid state, and there are some other factors also because blood moves, always remaining movement, so it can does not clog. Number uh, three, the inside wall of the vessels, that is arteries and veins inside walls, the endothelial cells are smooth, so that does not get uh, disintegrated. But in case of infection or in case of traumatic injury, so the platelets. Uh, sticks there. Likewise, to say this is endothelial cells. If there is an injury of the body, so here it get disturbed. It get disturbed. Then platelets comes and sticks here. The platelets comes and sticks here, and I told you that from here the thrombocytes, platelets are the thrombocytes. They secrete thrombokinase or thromboplastin, which some other reactions the reaction produces fibrin and they clog the blood. So heparin is secreted by basophil. This is the main function of basophil. They secrete heparin, histamine, histamine, and serotonin. This three point or four point, you write. 
You can write three points or four points as for your uh, capacity of I mean given by then multi-node nucleus. Multi-node nucleus. Here I will write one thing that their secret they have the capacity of phagocytosis. These two have the capacity of PHGO phago CYTO cytosis. This is also phago cytosis is the characteristics of these two cells neutrophil and monocytes. They are 70% to 80%. Why? How the phagocytes? They, when you are, there is a bacteria, they engulf it. Like in this way, they engulf it. And subsequently, they take the bacteria inside. Sometimes we have seen in some, I uh, mean, uh, marriage. Uh, reception and somewhere. So some uh, women, usually ladies, are in the habit of taking that as well, like this. So they phagocyte the rasogola. So in this way, they phagocyte the bacteria. So they have the capacity of phagocytosis. Here, so this is one of the function. Diabetes is the second function. Bar body is the third. Fourth one I will write, they secret trypsin. T R Y P S I N. Trypsin. Trypsin is an uh, lipolytic enzyme. They digest and they digest the bacteria and phagocytes in. They kill it. Bacterial infections are pass for me. If there is any pass forming area you see, pass forming, then it increases. That pass forming is pyogenic. This is in medical it is known as PYO pyo G E N I C pyogenic infection or pass forming. So staphylococcus, streptococcus, staphylococcus, these are the bacteria, they form pass, that is the tissue get uh, yet this tripsin forms this pass and ultimately it goes out and some, some portion they ingest it in the process of phagocytosis. They are, uh, you should write polymorph, that is they are morphologically, they are, this is different. Yeah. Then I will come to monocyte, monocyte. Monocyte has got the capacity to borrow the arterial and vessel wall and there is diabetes. The problem is that the monocyte lasts for 10 to 20 hours. They last for 10 to 20 hours. So their capacity is limited to 10 to 20 hours. If infection is more, then they cannot. Then this phagocytes is done by this polymorph. Because they have got the capacity of poly, I mean, phagocytosis. So they are monocyte. They are actually called whenever they goes out. Number one is phagocytosis. Number one is eccentric. Number two is they have got the capacity of diabetes. Number three phagocytosis. Number four, you write, uh, what should I say? They are called macrophages. M-A-C-R-O, macrophages, P-H-A-G-E-S. Whenever they comes out of the blood vessel, they are actually known as macrophages. These are the four points you mentioned and they last for 10 to 20 hours. Put that also number 5. They last for 10 to 20 hours. Okay. This is 
for instance, this is uh, monocytes. Then comes to lymphocyte. Lymphocyte, they are concerned with the antibody formation. A N T I N T B O D Y. Antibody formation. How? Whenever there is antigen, there is an infection. So, some foreign part particles inter enters into our body. So, they, those are called antigen. And they produce antibody against this antigen. So, they are responsible for antibody formation. Produces serum immunoglobin. Right? They produce serum Sidam Albu Immunoglobin. Here I double M U Immunoglobin G L O B I N. It is we term it I G Sidam Immunoglobin. They produce Sidam Immunoglobin, which, which helps in the production of antibody. This antibody comes to combat the antigen in case of this, in case of this, in case of some antigen is coming, they produce antibody. They are actually the ammunition factory because they produce the combat force to counter the antigens. Okay. Required for antigen of then thrombocytes I have come across. These are in total all these but one thing you can see from here itself this is uh, my own made theory this is my own made theory I will say that if there is some infection or if there is some disturbance in the state in the state this IG Polish force inspector general of Polish got the information they are lesser in number they give the information to DIG and others they are one person we are not that much required one DG IG is enough then they give information to here I will assign them civic police. Civic police. Civic police goes out in that local area where something occurred. Civic police they work for 10 to 20 hours. After 10 to 20 hours they throw out their guns and they go home. So civic police is monocyte. Then after the civic police comes the original police force. They also with the process of diabetes goes out of the barrack and invades here to fight the I mean any untoward effect. Then Lymphocytes, I will tell them, they produce antibody. Antibody. So this is known as ammunition. With the help of supplying ammunition, that is antibody, they combat the place. And in case of say thrombocytes, in case of any bloodshed here. There is a rival between two groups, A group and B group. There is bloodshed. Who will come first? To combat, thrombocyte will come to do this and the information will go here. They will send civil police to combat. Then civil police works for 10 to 20 hours. Then police force will go. So this is, this is more 50 to 70 percent. 
These are less required. These are less required. IGDIG number of is less. This is not to that extent. This is 20 to 25 percent. That is ammunition production is very much necessary. So this is all about. I mean, WBC. There I come to an end of RBC, WBC, platelets, everything. Thank you very much.